Good morning. It is almost 3.30. Our flight's at 7. So we're up butt crack of dawn. Way before the butt crack of dawn. And I finally put batteries in my luggage scale. And I'm 5 pounds over. So I went through. I took out boots. Took out Juliana's heavy snow boots. And I took out my toiletry bag. Which is now in Benji's. So... Hopefully this is 50 pounds. It is 51.8. 5.15 in the morning. Daddy is out there checking in all the car seats and all the luggage. Oh, Juliana. So the line for American is ridiculous out here. So thank God they have the outside check-in. We good to go? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, heaven. This is another word for heaven. Woo! Honey, how awesome was that? Great. That was like five minutes. Uh, you get to keep your shoes on, keep your laptops. Except yeah, for mini Auntie laptops. Belle. She had to take her Oh, she had to take her boots because they were too clingy. Okay. No stroller. I was a little nervous about it, but so far it's working out. Now, obviously. Yeah, because we're not going to be strolling the streets of New York. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. So that's one reason why we didn't bring it. And then secondly, we just wanted to see how much easier it would be to walk through the airport. That's where I was a little nervous because that's what we use for storage. But that's why I got my sister's backpack up. I'm the pack horse. Even though Judy looks like she's packing on some of the luggage here. What snacks do we have? Bananas. There's blueberry muffins that you and Auntie Val made. There's tomatoes. You want tomatoes? I love I like muffins. I love I like muffins. Okay, what's the magic word? Me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bagels. Oh, I love bagels. I thought it was ironic that they have this bagel shop at one of the terminals where they probably have the most flights to JFK are. And in New York City, guess what? They got good bagels. I've never had a good bagel in New York City. I've never actually eaten a bagel that I can remember, so maybe we'll just have to try that. There's a, a Bagel Bites or Bagel Balls company in New York that was on Shark Tank. I want to try that. I want to try that. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? This is where I farted too, FYI. Where are we going, little one? Yeah! Okay, you be careful. Be careful. American Airlines, love you. Thank you. They were so accommodating. They put us all together, even though I booked the tickets online. Oh wait, let's go. Be careful, okay? Chicken parm marinara on their tomato bagel. It's good. What number is that? No, that's actually a four. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Smooth, I think. 
Hey Bear had the hardest time and she threw up. Poor baby. He was gagging on one of the um, cookies she was eating and then all the milk. And the worst of it all, it stank. So our whole area stank. Luckily I had a change of clothes for Kira, but Daddy didn't. So he still smells like baby throw up. Is it messy? Yeah. She's singing, no, no, cry, no, no, cry. Oh, do you know that one? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's one of her favorites. Watch where you're going, Juliana. <laughs> Really, girls? <laughs> Poor Kira. I didn't pack extra socks in my carry on, but she threw up on her socks. So I have these blankets to cover her feet. Girls are so sleepy. <laughs> They're just for Valentine's Day. Yeah. There's snow flurry everywhere. No, every time. We're going over the Brooklyn Bridge here. And that is another bridge. I don't know what it is. Manhattan Bridge. That's Manhattan Bridge of Whole Foods, baby. Never been so happy to be at Whole Foods. It's been kind of a miserable trip for everybody. I won't go into detail, but it's just been rough. It's been a rough day. Uh, and I, you know what? Gotta hand it to the babies. Even though it was pretty rough, they took it pretty good. I mean, they were crying by the end, but what are you gonna do? That's what happens when you go across the country. We have pretty much settled into our apartment. This is the first time we're trying a, a Airbnb, which is pretty much like a rental space online. It's kind of like a Craigslist, but for rentals. And, um, like, I was always so sketch about it, and I finally decided to do it, and I'm like, oh, why? Okay, well, first of all, when you first got here, it was freezing cold. We're in the middle of Manhattan, and I, I mean, yeah, it's like, it's just cold in general here, but the heating system is not good at all, and this is like, like, they have really tall ceilings here, and it's like a huge space. There's tons of rooms on the hallway. Like, of course, I want it to be warm and cozy for them. If it were just, like, us adults, then that's fine. We could deal with it. But I feel so bad for the girls. Like, they're all napping right now, but they're all in layers. And, um, oh, and then when I was trying to get milk ready, <laughs> the power outage and half of the kitchen went out because I had the microwave on and then I had the hot water and then I had the wa hot water thingy on and then Stacy was charging her phone, so then that caused an out an outage. And then I hear um, a neighbor, I don't know, upstairs or downstairs, like blasting their music. And I'm just like, oh. I guess it's to be expected. I mean, we're in Manhattan, and then there's of course like the the taxi drivers honking. But um, I don't know. I just feel so bad for the girls. Stacy and Val are out getting food and I think they're just checking out the city and then Benji went to Whole Foods to get food food and just stuff that we need around the apartment the next few days. Airbnb. I'm so sad that this is like my first experience with Airbnb. Freshly baked organic baguette. I love you Whole Foods. Look at daddy over there. He's looking for another hotel. We're having our dinner and it looks like we're, you know, eating outside because we have actually, our winter gear on, but no. We actually even have the door open because it's warmer out there in the hallway than it is in here. The food is really good. This is some Chinese food. This is our fireplace, right? <laughs> our imaginary, right? Oh, wow. Wow. 
<laughs> we went to the place. There's a sign. For mm-hmm. it. We go downstairs, and they're like, "Oh, cash only." And I was like, "Okay, fine." Mm-hmm. Like, I went to get cash. Like, we had to walk on the corner, ask some people, and then we go back in there. Like, oh, we're here to pick up our order. It's like, okay, what's the name? Like, we didn't have any money to go. Like, Where'd you order from? Like, oh, upstairs. <laughs> we go upstairs. You didn't even need cash. <laughs> Then we need cash at the wine store. Oh, yeah. weird. So it all worked out then. It worked out. Good. <laughs> yeah, and tell us your story, girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically, they told me that they were cold because they didn't even nap a full hour and they were crying. I felt so bad. So I was giving them cuddles and hugs and kisses and then. Stacy and Val walked in with food. I was like, thank she God. Was like this. <laughs> I was. It was so sad. They were like little teddy bears. <laughs> I think we might sleep at a hotel tonight because it's just way cold. And it's just not good for infants. Maybe they'll sleep in the hotel and we'll sleep here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just do that so you guys could be comfy. And it'll be cheaper that way. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, so we're at a hotel now, and right when you walked in, it's so warm and cozy. Crazy. It was a nightmare. It was so sad. And like Juliana, seriously, was so upset the whole time. The bathtub was freezing cold. Can you imagine putting the babies in there? Oh, and get this. When I turned on the faucet, the hot water, it was brown water. I'm not even kidding you. I'm not even exaggerating. It was gross. Still moody as heck, this one. Good thing we're three hours behind, so it's not like the girls are overly exhausted. Look at me and Kira. They're the cutest. Hi, Mia. Hi, Kira. so curious and they're opening all the drawers and it's scary because a few times they've already nipped their fingers yeah so then this came perfect timing <laughs> it's 11 12 p.m eastern time 8 p.m back at home but we are all so exhausted this has been one heck of an experience really sad with the whole airbnb and i'm just i'm just glad that we found a place to stay <laughs> and the girls are comfortable i mean like oh i can't imagine i seriously could not imagine staying at that apartment i don't even know how that's all gonna work if we're gonna get our money back but i'm pretty sure anybody that would have booked that place would not have expected it to be that bad like mainly, mainly the heater not working at all. It was so cold. I'm so glad we're at a hotel, but at the same time, kind of sad because we don't get the space anymore and we don't get to cook here. So yeah. Oh yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. It's like the worst Valentine's Day ever. Anyways, enough of all that. Tomorrow's going to be a better day and all of us are going to be in such a better mood. Anyway, I'm just in Stacy's room right now editing. Um, Daddy's putting Mia and Kira down. And Juliana is sleeping with Auntie Val. So I hope Auntie Val has good sleep. All right, guys. On the bright side, we're here in New York. And we're going to make the most of this trip. So, all right, guys. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <music>
Oh, that's Mia's sleepy, sleepy talk. Because I have to make a conversation.